example of an active attitude by short speech presentation time uh, towards the interaction for decision making with multiple agents. Uh, some factors including in the title, but uh, we're focusing on the so uh, short speech reaction time <coughs> in the human agent interaction. Uh, we develop an uh, uh, interactive agent. The agent characters that interact with the uh, users often uh, uh, appear on several situations. Uh, for example, that uh, information system or say serious games or collaborative uh, support system or something like that. <coughs> uh, these characters are regarded as uh, much model interfaces, but are not regarded as uh, expert teachers or familiar friends. Uh, this aspect is not so important for the uh, information system, but uh, uh, in the collaboration system or the co uh, collaboration support system or the creative uh, uh, discussion system is important. <coughs> Our aim is uh, to develop an agent that could be regarded as a communicative uh, uh, partner like a human. <coughs> there is many factors uh, to uh, rebuild this type of the agent. Uh, we think that uh, one of the important factors is the mental stance of the human. <coughs> the mental stance is a human factor uh, where humans interact with others. The mental stance is uh, uh, defined, as, uh, 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 defined as a physical stance, a design stance, and intentional stance. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, sorry. Okay. Uh, this is an uh, example in the uh, uh, physical stance, design stance, and intentional stance. <coughs> uh, when we take a design stance, uh, we expect that the interaction pattern works mechanically uh, according to the presented, uh, predefined rules. When a human interacts with a machine or the agent, uh, they usually take the design stance. In this case, the, when the guardian robot stands by gate, a person who tries to pass a gate is caught by the robot. Uh, the person uh, think, uh, uh, who takes the design stance uh, thinks that when the sensor of the robot detects a person, the robot catches me or something like that. <coughs> when a human interacts with other humans, uh, they usually take an intentional stance. When we take the intentional stance, uh, we consider that an uh, interaction partner has subjective thoughts and intentions. In this case, the, uh, this person think, the robot think, I do not permit the passage because uh, this gate is now broken or something like that. <coughs> uh, in this case, they and their communica communication partner respect each other. This respect each other factor is important in the collaborative support system or the discussion support system. <coughs> Uh, in our present study, we aim to induce an active human attitude toward decision-making interactions uh, with agents in order to consider the agents as reliable consultants and to interact with them. <coughs> uh, for this purpose, uh, we controlled for the uh, speech reaction time of agent. <coughs> in our previous works, uh, we also try to induce intentional stance uh, by some methods. Uh, for example, that uh, the agent shows that goal orientation behavior to the user, or the uh, agent uh, uh, respond contingent, uh, provide contingent responses uh, to other uh, users, and the agent estimate the user's preferences throughout the uh, uh, interaction. <coughs> Uh, we additionally applied short speech reaction time. Uh, this means that we try to confirm whether the timing of the agent behavior strongly influenced the uh, user's attitudes. <laughs> to test the effect, uh, effect of this short speech reaction time on active attitude towards an interaction for decision making, uh, we used two kinds of agents. One had no speech reaction time, uh, the other had the two seconds speech reaction time. <coughs> Okay, uh, this is an outline of interaction. Both agents uh, have the same uh, interaction framework. The agent uh, catches uh, verbal or non-verbal information from the uh, user, and uh, the agent estimates the user's preference. And uh, based on that uh, user estimated uh, user's preferences, the agent provides some proposals uh, for using, uh, for uh, provide a proposal uh, useful for the uh, user's decision making. <coughs> The difference is only for that uh, response time. The one is a no response time, very quickly uh, provide a proposal. The other is a two second uh, wait after that, the, the uh, agent provides a proposal. <coughs> okay. But on a one-on-one -on -one, uh, interaction, the 
the, the agent, uh, it is hard to induce an intentional stance. <coughs> so that uh, we use uh, two, two agents. Uh, this is one of the methods to achieve smooth human inter agent interaction. Overhead communication is useful to pursue the interaction contents. Uh, we use uh, this to understand agents' knowledge and behavior model. The users observe the interaction between the agents to understand the appropriate ways to interact with the agent. <coughs> the, uh, uh, we use two agents, the neutral agent and the expert agent. The role of a neutral agent is to propose and comment on part of the questions and the requests that the user may have from the viewpoint of the user who had only a general knowledge of tasks. The role of expert agent is to answer the user's questions and to make a proposal that will help decision making for users from the viewpoint of the expert with the sufficient knowledge of the task. <coughs> The uh, picture shows that the two agents and the, the, the one of the proposals. We conducted an experiment. The purpose of this experiment was to investigate how the non-speech uh, non reaction time of the interaction agents affect the participant's speech reaction time, and the participants changed their attitude towards an, a human agent interaction. We expected that the participant of interaction with an agent, uh, which showed a short speech reaction time, would feel active engagement of the agent towards the conversation. So we confirmed these two points. <coughs> the participants performed a series of human agent interactions, and 35 uh, Japanese college students participated in the uh, experiment. About half is, belongs to the non SLT group, and the rest belongs to the two second SLT group. The task is not so complex. The participants performed a series of interactions uh, to plan a short clip with two agents. In the first uh, interaction, the neutral agent explained the summary of the experiment. The aim of the first interaction was to conduct an icebreaker to run the interaction ability of the agent for the participant. In the second interaction, the neutral agent and the expert agent had a chat related to the next interaction theme. In this case, that's a short uh, trip uh, planning. <coughs> we call this observation phase. In the observation phase, the agent asks some questions and the preferences of the participants five times. <coughs> In the third uh, interaction, the participants made a travel plan to a minor tourist spot with a, a two agent. We call this uh, decision-making task. The third interaction was main task. In this decision-making task, the travel planning was simplified to choice of the four sightseeing spots out of 25 candidates to stop during the travel. This decision-making task continued until the participants declared termination. The neutral agent made a proposal prompting that the end of the interaction when the number of proposal categories uh, become three, not the expert agent. The, this role assignment is one of the advantages of using two agents. The experimental setting is like this. The, it, is hard to, uh, it is hard to conduct a real-time bubbles processing so that an experimenter hear the participant's voice and uh, that input the words, <laughs> the important words for the, the system. The agent automatically calculates uh, the uh, participants' preference, uh, estimates the participants' preferences and provide the uh, proposal. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. uh, this is an result. The first, I measure the, uh, we measure the speech reaction time of the participants in the observation phase and the decision making task. We uh, perform the two by two ANOVA. This figure on the table shows that the result. This result shows that the uh, speech reaction time of uh, two second SRT group in decision making is uh, significantly high, longer than that other, uh, uh, <laughs> other situation. Uh, this means that the non SRT agent could keep the participant's speech reaction times uh, short. Uh, next, uh, we can count the number of proposed categories throughout the decision making task, but uh, there is no significant difference. So that we counted the number of participants who continued to interact with the agent after the proposal prompting the end of the interaction. Uh, <coughs> the feature the exact uh, the table shows that results. The feature the exact test shows that uh, there is a significant difference between the uh, group. 
It this suggests that the participants' active attitude to continue interaction with the agents uh, was uh, influenced by non-SRT of the uh, agents. Uh, finally, uh, we ask uh, some questions. Uh, uh, we want to know that uh, participants' impression to us an agent or the interaction. So how satisfied, how natural, uh, how fun, how useful or something. But there is no significant, uh, uh, there is, uh, we cannot find the significant differences uh, uh, in uh, all of them. <coughs> the question three and the question four show that the marginally significant difference, but not so strong. This shows that uh, both of, in both groups, participants do not uh, uh, feel unnaturalness or uh, the, uh, and the participants uh, satisfied the uh, agent's uh, proposals. <coughs> Uh, we aim to indu uh, induce an, an active attitude in human agent interaction for decision making by presenting short pre speech reaction times of agents. Uh, we conducted an experiment to test the effect of speech reaction time on active attitude towards an interaction uh, using two kinds of agent. Uh, as a result, we found that a non SRT agent could keep the participant's speech reaction time short. <coughs> Uh, we could suggest that uh, participants had an active attitude towards an interaction with non SRT group uh, agent. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Yeah, let's thank the speaker. We have time for a quick question. Any quick question? So, yes. Uh, thank you uh, for the great talk. Uh, my name is Max Johnson. I'm from USC ICT. Um, when you are talking about the two-second uh, SRT yeah. gap group, is that just two seconds of silence, or have you maybe considered like some sort of like vocal pause for two seconds? Mm -hmm. Would that make any different versus an immediate response? Mm -hmm. um, uh, yes, that's um, in verbal response. Eh, the, that is silent, but that the non-verbally uh, respond. Uh, very quickly. For example, nodding or somebody uh, their chat or something like that. Okay, so there's some recognition that the answer's been heard, or the question's been heard, or some sort of interaction's been heard. It's not just, it doesn't look like it's frozen. Or yeah, yes, yes. Okay, yes. I see. Thank you.